I haven't used this since high school. <laughs> okay, I said no hot glue, but this hat is getting so creepy. Bonjour! Do you like spiders? No! Me neither, but it's Halloween! So let's just turn scary stuff into wearable fashion. The wearable part can be debatable, but look at how I look, so... Anyways, there won't be any real spiders in the video. Maybe a fake and plastic and sparkly one later, but don't worry. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I saw a huge one in the garden. I haven't fully recovered yet. But this season is about facing your fears, so I am not going to do that. But I am going to steal her style and make an outfit out of spider webs, hopefully. Or at least inspired by it. I think I can make something cute and appropriate for the season. Come with me to the dark shade of my fabrics. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> Allez, let's go! So, materials. We have tool. Very simple black tool, one of the cheapest ones. And it's one that is very fluid, not uh, like rigid to make two tools. Ribbons. I think we can make something cool with just this. Well, I'm gonna get some paper also. If you need paper in a big size, sometimes the cheapest option is like this uh, napkin, no, table paper, paper, table cloth. If I want my web to be three branches per quarter of fabric, one, two, three, this is all 30 degrees, so... I haven't used this since high school. <laughs> I have to make 12 like this. Okay, so I did some testing, but first of all, I had to spend uh, four hours just working on this machine, which does not work anymore because this bunch of electronics just don't get the electronic machines, get the mechanical ones. I have to bring it to the specialist and it's going to cost a lot of money. I'm going back to this one, which is 20 years old and it's just perfectly working, but for this project. <laughs> To attach the velvet on the tool, I tried a few different ways. First was just pinning it in place and sewing it, but uh, the tool is so fine, it has a little bit of stretch, so, so I found that I need to glue the velvet to the tool before sewing it. I tried some textile glue, but it takes like a day for each strip to be secured enough so I can sew it, and it kind of leaves some white residues. So the most efficient way was just to use hot glue. I think if I'm tidy enough, it won't leave any residue where it won't be visible anywhere. And I even have some black hot glue. Ta-da! I have to solve the problem of the curved edges of the velvet. For these lines to stay in the right shape, I have to do a line of stitching on one edge and just pull it a little bit. Almost like doing a ruffle, but just to curve it slightly and make no folds or anything. I think this will work. It's just going to take a lot of time. So let's go. Let's test this theory on our first uh, pizza slice. Sewing one edge of the ribbon with a long stitch and a high tension, pulling slightly on the top thread just curves the strip a little bit. After this piece I will iron them, don't worry. Now that the strip is kind of secured, I can actually sew it in place. A few moments later. Even though the hot glue strips are neater than the one that I just spin and sewed on, the inside is not very pretty. And I just realized that the whole thing is kind of sheer. So this will be visible. Uh, I have to pin everything. <laughs> Okay, another slice. The paper template is not really working, so I'm just tracing on the floor with some tape. Just painter's tape. This will be easy to remove. I don't want to be on the floor anymore, so since I'm going to install finally a tabletop on this one, I think it's okay to mess it up a little bit. No one will know, except you. We need to work towards efficiency now. Let's cut everything in bulk. Ok, 
okay i said no hot glue but i was thinking on how to do the hem of the thing and i think i'm going to sandwich two pieces of velvet this will make the hem neat and encase the edge of the tool and it means the inside of the ribbon won't be visible i think it's the right choice I do like it, but when it's all on the mannequin very straight like this, it doesn't look like a spider web, just like a, a sad uh, fishing net. But you do start to see the web when you do this. I don't know, trust the process again. <laughs> I'm making this project inspired by different stuff that I found scattered around the internet and to stay organized, I'm using Milanot, the sponsor of this video. Milanot offers an all-in-one solution to organize and planning all your creative projects. My project began with a well-structured template with a lot of them available depending on your project. This template enabled me to plan this project by distributing uh, tasks, checking ideas and materials just to stay on track. I try to plan filming storyboard, which is something that I want to get better at. This platform also also has the creation of mood board folders, allowing me to add all my design ideas in one place. This approach simplified the process of researching and gathering references for various techniques. To organize my ideas, I could incorporate a different range of reference with images, color swatches, product links, resources, video tutorials, and even notes and arrows. Milanot streamlines the whole planning process with keeping everything in one place. I really appreciate the degree of creativity that you can put into organizing all your stuff. To create a full picture of the project you want, a visual overview of the design and technical side. If you are planning a project with other people, Milanot allows this with the collaboration of different creators on the same board, sharing feedback, ideas, and just collaboration. If you have an ambitious project in need of organization, you can rest assured that Milanot offers a free, unlimited solution. You can sign up through my link in the description to embark on your creative and organized journey. Many thanks to Milanot for sponsoring this video. And now let's go back to work. Okay, last day. It is getting cold. I'm getting comfy. I'm not wearing makeup. I just need to get this done because Halloween is coming up soon. Yes, I did put too many things on my schedule. Yes, I spilled my coffee on my white pants. But that's life. And sometimes you just have to keep going and hopefully it will make the reveal transformation much more impressive. Okay, I think we have just the right amount of flowiness. Now I need to clean all this up. Let's actually finish this hem. I curved all those pieces on the machine, pressed them flat into their curved shape, and I can use some more hot glue on the inside of the hem. This should give more body to this hem, it's kind of like using horsehair. But the hot glue is not enough to secure the fabric on the long term, so I still had to do two lines of stitching by machine. But with the pieces attached already, it was much faster. The waistband will actually be just two strips of velvet, sandwiching the top of the skirt for more strength. They can be tied in a knot, and I think we have a finished skirt. I gathered some materials to make some accessory, which is the part that I was most excited about this project. I want to do a hat. Maybe more if I have time, but let's not get ahead too much. I have a scrap of velvet to match the skirt, fine stones, a piece of linen that I drenched in uh, wood glue. This will be perfect to make hats, some wire, more sparkly things, and some uh, fake spiders. They are not very realistic, but I guess a trigger warning just in case. But it's, you know, these uh, fake ring ones. If I cut off all the edges, I will have a lot of little spiders. We'll see if this gets uh, too scary, <laughs> even for me. I'm using the linen to make a slightly curved shape for my head. No measures, just vibes. I guess this is hat-ish enough. <laughs> And I wanted the rim of the hat to look like a spider web. For this, all the structure will be made in wire. This is like the cheapest wire from the hardware store. Let's just trace a rough spider web shape just to check the size. Highly recommend having glasses on when you do some wire thing because I got poked in the eye twice already. <laughs> It looks like a web. I'm just going to secure a few of those connections.
And since I'm really, really, really excited about my black hot glue, I'm just going to drench all the wire in it. Hopefully it will look a bit uh, gooey and also it will hide all the wire parts while just strengthening the whole thing. To match my skirt, I'm adding the tool on the inside. This will not provide much shade for the hat, but I think it makes it much more intentional. It is kind of tricky to make sure that the tool is flat on the web and the web is not flat at all. So I just have to use a melon clips and just glue between the clips, wait for it to dry, remove the clips and glue the rest. It takes a while but I think it is worth it. Then my little tortilla gets covered in velvet. Of course I miscalculated so I have to chop it up a little bit. No problem, it's not like I have uh, so much time left. <sighs> And let's finish the edges of the hat with some leftover velvet ribbon, which will again match the skirt. Add a little comb that I can just stick in my hair to keep the hat in place. A little bow for no particular reason, I just have some leftover velvet and I just want to add it. I think it gives the hat a sort of 1940s vibe if you, if you, if you squint, like uh, squint a lot. It is sewn in place with some uh, strong thread and a little bit more glue to just fade the web into the hat and make it more organic. So I just finished the hat. It is midnight, but I still want to try a little bit something more. Chopping off the ring part of those little plastic spiders, I'm going to use a lot of hot glue on this last item. Uh, did I tell you how excited I was for this black hot glue? <laughs> Let's get the rhinestones and hide the body. I just know that I want to make a neck piece, but I really have no plans. I'm just letting the hot glue inspire me. It kind of feels like sculpting. I guess this is sort of uh, manual 3D printing and uh, it burns your hands. The little spiders can be glued on here and there. They are like the cheapest Halloween decoration, but I'm glad that I can finally have some use for them. And with enough hot glue to fill the little holes in the back, these sparkles will just stick perfectly to your piece. Just mix in spiders and rhinestones until I don't have any left. I mean, I hate the spiders, but I love the sparkles. Basically exposure therapy, but uh, with lots of hot glue. The cooking paper can be removed easily and we have a finished piece. And it is time for the reveal. If you made it until now, Please subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. Allez, bonne nuit!